Hi there, I'm Eric Ross and we're on location at a client's house today and I wanted to share with you the before and the after of this amazing project. Before, the room was very dark, very sinister, the colors were morbid, I mean it was red and black, I mean you can't get any more sinister than that. And there was a lot of low light, so my primary objective in this room was to make it light, bright and happy. I'm so excited to show you where we're taking this room. In this room, it was all about capturing the light. So it started with the wall covering. To me, when you have a space that's very dim and very dull, you want to create more reflectivity. So I found this amazing wall covering that's got a little bit of a shimmer. The interesting thing was the walls were stuccoed before. I mean, it was so stuccoed it would cut your skin if you rubbed up next to it. So we had to have the walls completely remudded, sanded down, prepared for this wall covering. But as you can see, it really made a difference in helping to reflect and catch the light. Once I picked the wall covering, it was all about a theme of circles to me. I like to pick some theme, a very subtle theme, and repeat it because that just makes the whole design feel more cohesive. So with this, I found an awesome mirror that helped again to create that reflectivity, bouncing light, making the space seem more bright, and it has circles. Another feature that I picked when designing the room was the drapery fabric. When I had selected the wall covering with circles and the mirror with circles, when I ran across this Suzani, which is another hot trend in fabrics, it had the circle motif. It had the blue and the green, which up until the point of picking the drapery, the room was relatively neutral. So now I had the blue and the green to pull from. If you follow color trends at all, the color of the year for 2013 is emerald. So I picked the green to pull out of, and that's where I started dressing the table. Of course, the table is a reclaimed elm that's been waxed and left raw. So it's going to age and patina over time the more it's used, the more rings uh, from wine spills and just touching it and using it, you're gonna, it's going to patina quickly with age and give it a really well-worn look. With that theme of circles, I found this amazing napkin ring which has the three concentric circles that then picks up of the circles and the wall covering and the mirror. These little details, of course, are what make your room special and unique and set it apart from just a decorated room to a well-intentioned designed room. Another big trend this year is shark skin. It's called chagrin when it's on furniture and of course it's faux. The shark skin, it gives you some warmth but with a modern edge. This room came together with motivation and inspiration to provide a beautiful finished room for my clients, which is based on lifestyle questions that I ask when we're meeting about the room or rooms that we're going to design. Once the room comes together for them and we do the reveal, they really are pleased with the end results because I've gone off of what they've asked me to do for them. Thanks for watching and check out more inspiring rooms and design tips at ericrossinteriors.com.